Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Thursday, the 16th of December. It is 39 degrees out here this morning. That almost feels warm. Look at that bright brightness in the background. The skies are kind of, the clouds are kind of light. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like, but I'm hoping for the best. Look at the beauty of that. That wasn't a bad drive to work. No, it was kind of off and on wet. Yeah. Blue patches in the sky every once in a while. That was really yeah. nice. It's not pouring. It's not even sprinkling at yeah. the moment. So that's good. We'll take it. Yes. Well, Mama, yes, it Mama. is Thursday. Thursday. I wish it was Friday. But Rolling towards Thursday. the end. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. I don't know. And we talked about hump day and everything else. Oh, I'm not. Somehow or another, your little mind gets twisted, and I was thinking, yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Hey, I know. Yeah. I kept, all morning, I kept doing it to myself. Going, okay, just today. Just yeah. Today. <laughs> nope. All right, Paul. All right, Paul. Uh, see you as the day goes on. All right. Uh, hope you see you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Mm, bye. Replacing the damaged right hand valve cover, it was all scratched up. So was the little coil stick thing. But I'm just sitting here looking at this. What a marvel of technology. It's sitting on the, I guess you could call it the torque cam loads or low speed. Those are the high speed or horsepower lobes. There's your two plungers in there. You can see there's two, two pistons, depending on whether it's pulling it down or, or shift, you know, shifting right or left. Dang, BMW, you gotta make it look so freaking pretty. Is that amazing or what? Hmm. There she is. No more scuffage. You better look like real fast. Cause this is gonna last probably about a minute if we're even that lucky. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Isn't that a pretty sight? I wonder if I can get that to zoom at all. Probably not, huh? Oh yeah, she just washes out. Slow down there, son. Should be able to get this to zoom. No, no Mount Hood, you would see her right there on the other side of that light. But the uh, clouds, my fingers won't hit the slider bar. The clouds are or hiding Mount Hood. They were down here cleaning that up yesterday. And uh, I don't know, it seems like it built back up again. They were taking old cars and stuff out of there. I guess they got some great big thing they're setting up for them that'll have, you know, necessary things for, for living out in the wilds, in the wilds of the city. All right, I'll just give you a glimpse of that. Back to the J-O-B. You guys ever see how these switches go together? What's that? Oh, oh. I'll be down here a second. Anyway, you, <laughs> you gotta take this off and then, this, well, it's too ex complicated to explain. Part one, part two, then part three goes all the way through. Very interesting. This one kind of does the same thing. And uh, that's the new one. The uh, cruise um, on off button was broke off. But you gotta get the little whirly wheel as its own piece, it slides in, plugs in right there. Am I holding it right? Yeah. Plugs in right there, but you can't see it. Then another plug slides through there. That pops out. So you plug that in, that in, and then this plugs in when you put the smart wheel in there. And similar to Harleys and Spiders, you have that screw 
But what's unique with these is they go all the way through and tap into the other side, like you can see over here. You talking about something fun to line a hole up with? Because this will go all the way through the bar and then screw in on the back side. So you line that hole up just right. It's not fun, I promise you. And then these kind of go in the little holders and there's your fly-by-wire connector, which is this. No, oh, this one. It's got that weird, it's kind of like a fuel hose. And this is the switch controls. This is the heated grip. Very fancy. No more scratch though. See, I hold my master cylinders. Don't want any air getting in those things. I gotta bleed the front anyway, but let's just avoid it while we can. Still got hand guards and lever to put on. And unfortunately our crushed brake hose, that's why I didn't put the straps on here. That and some body parts. She's a roller. That's a bummer if it wasn't for a back-ordered body panel and a back-ordered brake hose. Um, I'm like no time at all from, well, the brake hose is gonna take some time. But that's why I'm not putting any of the body work on. It's because when I replace this and the brake hose, uh, which I have that, it's sitting right there. I'll have to take all this off. So just leave it in the state that it's in right now. I'm going to put the hand guards and stuff that's part of the PDI I'm going to put all that stuff on mirrors and stuff like that. But I'm still not going to um, pre-deliver or the bike. I'm not going to set it up to run yet. The battery sitting over there. I charge it every once in a while. So, uh, yeah, just a few things here. Now it's a wait for parts. But it's been fun, though. It's nice to have projects like this when it's really slow. Just some busy work. Keep your dexterity with working on things and makes you think as you're going along. Boy, do you got to think when you're working on these things. <laughs> but there we go. I think we're towards the end of the day here. Grab a little woman and uh, we'll start heading north. I think we got a couple of stops or something. She, I don't know. I know I got to get gas tonight. So it's every, every other day in the war wagon. Acura has a big enough tank I can make it three days so I don't know if that old Acura's ever gonna see the light of day here it just looks like rain <laughs> oh little woman in the pitch black dark you ready to roll I'm ready all right there was some twilight in the skies mm -hmm. that's I nice yeah oh yeah even got some uh, evening sun there that looked very nice very Check these clouds out with the, it's not quite a full moon, but it's getting close. They got rumble strips. That's cool as heck though, isn't it? If I point up there, the camera will stop focusing. Plus we've got fog out here anyway. That's way cool. Gotta do something about them lights. Feels so weird out here. Come out here and it's all dark. The other night, what was that last night? I think it was last night. We stopped at Tractor Supply to get horse and dog food and stuff. Love it when you find cool things on sale. Crazy cheap. So let me knock these things out of their packages and we'll uh, we'll chit chat about them for a second or two. Cool. You know the plastic wrapping in this stuff. It's a, it's amazing someone hasn't got badly hurt trying to cut into that stuff. Man, that's brutal. So this was five bucks. 
I mean, these stupid little bits, I think we're all alike. Can't do it with one hand. Trying to spin the thing open. But anyway, they, uh, we all have tons of these little bits. But they're so useful. And, uh, you know, a lot are like those things here. This thing was five bucks with the little tray and the bits. You know, why not? You're going to use them anyway. Especially, you know, doing stuff around the house, not so much technical stuff. It's got a little Torx and, and why the, the, the weird Phillips head, uh, screws or whatever they call those things that literally nothing has those. And then you mistakenly use them like as a number two or whatever and you wonder, why did everything go wrong? But it's filler. Pry bars. I mean, these are more like nail things, but you know how useful little things like this are? And it's amazing how often you'll use it for the bizarre things. Not just the, you know, pulling nails and stuff, but boy, these things really do good at that. What's nice is, you know, you got the little, you can use a hammer and whack the thing underneath something. But I use them more for, you know, just probably not what they're intended for, for pulling the nails and stuff. They're fantastic. And then these were, uh, these were five bucks as well. And they were zip tied together as two different sizes. And these DeWalt things, man, I, I've got Milwaukee versions of these things. Oh, I knew I slammed that thing down too hard. It's cool they got these little dovetail things that you can, what, well, here, I'll mess with that here in a bit. Um, but anyway, I'll throw this in the, there you are. I'll throw this in the DeWalt bag. And, uh, actually, I'll throw this one. I'm going to mix some things up a little bit because the DeWalt bag doesn't have a, a drill function. It's a quarter, quarter inch drive impact. A little, I love the little tray of stuff here. That's just, or is it already unlocked? How do you get into it? It's cool, but you can't get in there. Oh, is it already unlocked? No. Oh, there we are. I just wouldn't hold my mouth right. And look, there's none of them weird Phillips bits. And number threes, number twos. Looks like that's all that is, is two and threes. If it's a number one Phillips, it probably shouldn't be using any kind of power tool on it anyway, huh? Just my thinking. That's cool. Then the longer little two inch jobs. I like the little small bits. Those come in handy. I mean, heavy duty stuff, I don't know how well that would work, but you never know. And then the other one, we'll just set this over on the, on the old GT. This is the one I'm probably gonna mix some things up. And uh, so I got different style bits. You know, it's almost impossible to do things one-handed sometimes. But all the torques, the two-inch torques, the squares, I think there's two and three squares. Both those look like number twos, though. Maybe that's a three. But uh, things that you would use that little impact gun on. Got a whole bunch of little square bits in there, too. That kind of stuff is what... The impact guns, those weird screws you use around the house. Because you can find those things on sale and you go, well, it's Torx today. Whoops, it's going to be the squares tomorrow. You know, whatever's on sale. But because you use both all over the place, I mean, you almost don't even use nails anymore, it seems like. With building stuff, them screws just work so well. A little extension that on that gun and using these little bits it'll work great love stuff like that little trinkets i'll toss that in like i say the the dewalt bag you know when i got that dewalt impact 
a little pistol shaped thing. I should have, I should have bought two of them. They, they still have it on sale, but it's, um, now it's up to a buck 30, but even at a dollar, or I mean, <laughs> wish it was a dollar at a, um, you know, 130, you almost can't find that thing. You got to be careful. You can find those things on sale, but the key is, is it's using that 20 volt battery and it's brushless. Don't get the, I mean, nowadays don't get the brushed anything, especially if you're working in a, working on your motorcycles and stuff, you may have, you know, bright cleaner fumes, gas fumes, or anything. I can tell you firsthand, not from myself, but seeing it happen right next to me, you will set something on fire with those brushed guns. You ever look at the end where the little vent is and you shh, shh, you're throwing sparks everywhere crazy and then e even at homework you know if you're doing a lot of sanding there's a lot of dust in the air you can ignite that dust it's nuts anyway i thought i'd just come out here and show you this stuff i'm just goofing around <laughs> well hello there youtube at like 11 35 at night a little woman had crashed out there. She was watching a little TV show yes i was all cozy she comfy was, and she was doing a little face her face booking and Mm -hmm. You can see when she's on the, because the little icon shows up on my MacBook. You tell she's on there. All of a sudden, that's gone. She <laughs> slowly sinks in her little chair and then she's gone. <laughs> it's all cozy. <laughs> so I've been there tinkering around with my stuff and she kind of started fussing around there a little bit, getting us. I said, you want to do a quick little goodbye or do a quickie? And she goes, oh, we never did one, didn't we? I said, nope. No, I didn't need to do that. Yeah, if she didn't wake up, I was going to have to come out here and sit by myself. It's been a while, so I didn't want a lone goodbye, but yeah. those happen every once in a while. Little mm -hmm. mama's out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, on that, we're going to make it short. What is that sound? Oh, it's Abby breathing. Oh, yeah. Crazy sound. Yes. Making all kinds of noise down there, Abby. Good Lord, dog. But, um, Anyway, make it short and sweet and just slip on out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. We'll see you guys in the morning. It's going to we'll be a then. cold morning. Yeah, it's cold it, now. Yeah, it's already freezing. So what's it going to be in the morning? Icy yeah. cold. Mm. Right, icy and black eyes. I hear cars. Yeah, Those guys are careful. Be careful. People just don't pay attention until it's too late. Yeah. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, we'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Bye bye now. Mm -hmm. Bye.